if you ever have put a keyboard shortcut into something like this blog post I have right here, you can see this is showing up in a mono spaced font just because I'm wrapping it in this. And this is very often that you'll see these back ticks here because a lot of blog posts are written in markdown and you wrap something in back ticks and it becomes code. So this would be the exact same thing as saying code here and close code right there, except this C isn't code. This C is a keyboard shortcut and has nothing to do with code at all. So we should not be using code for this, or that means if you're using your markdown files, you shouldn't actually be coming in with back ticks like this. Instead, what you wanna be using is the KBD element. So what we can do is actually replace these back ticks with KBD just like that. And with the power of editing, we'll update all of those back ticks. And there we go, we have the KBD there. And this is the semantic elements that we should be using for user text inputs, such as shortcuts. And the nice thing here is even though this is being written in Markdown right now, you can put HTML in Markdown, it's completely valid. So in those times where you do need them, you can just write it like this, even if you are in Markdown. And there's some bonuses to styling it, because first of all, that means you can style your code differently from your keyboard shortcuts but you can actually nest KBDs inside of KBDs, which sounds really strange, but it means I could come here and put in another opening one all the way at the beginning and then come over here and we're gonna add an extra closing one at the end. And now look at that, I've formatted my things here to actually look like keyboard shortcuts. And the way we did that is just, if I have a KBD nested in a KBD, then I can come in with some extra styling and make things look like keyboard inputs different from your code without worrying about classes, anything else, and you're using the proper semantic element to do it.